Decarbonization is the new reality, and amongst many low-carbon projects companies invest in, there is a particular one which stands out, green hydrogen. Welcome to this Capgemini Invent Talks. We are here with Martin and Leon, who know every trend in the energy transition. Hello both. So can you please tell us why is hydrogen green this time, and how many colors do we have? So at present, most hydrogen is produced using carbon-based energy sources. We call this grey hydrogen. If these carbon emissions are captured and stored, then we call it blue hydrogen. Only if the carbon is produced using only renewable energy sources, like wind and solar power, then we call it green hydrogen. And we have many different uses for it. It can be used as a raw material in chemical processes, but it can also be used to store electrical energy. Finally, it can be used as a fuel in industry and heavy transport. Surely you've seen hydrogen buses driving around, but it may also be a fuel for trains, ships, and perhaps even airplanes. Amazing. I would surely like to fly without uh, worrying about carbon emissions. So I hope uh, green hydrogen is here to stay. Absolutely. So green hydrogen is becoming more and more competitive to carbon-based fuels. Um, we think that there are three areas which are very important to that. First of all, political. That's about investments uh, between public and private companies. Secondly, technological. It's about increasing efficiency, effectiveness and investing in future-proof technologies like AI or digital twins. Thirdly, it's about ecosystems. It's about uh, energy producing companies, it's about electrolyzers, distribution, transport, energy usage, suppliers, and working all working together in this ecosystem. All right, and do we do anything with green hydrogen ourselves? Any Capgemini success stories to share? I'll share two examples. First of all, uh, we, uh, our engineering colleagues worked on hydrogen-based excavators, really interesting technological uh, stuff. Secondly, uh, our business consultants worked on uh, helping our customers reduce costs and improve investment decisions on hydrogen. So all together, we have a global network, 380,000 people within technology, within engineering, within business consulting, ready to jump together with our customers into the green hydrogen future. Whoa, I cannot wait for this smart and climate conscious future. Thank you both and thank you for watching. Be sure to reach out to Martin and Leon for any insights in the energy market. And we've also recently published our low carbon hydrogen report. Go check the link in the description to access it. Uh, stay tuned with Capgemini Invent Talks and we'll see you for our next episode.